Uh, the point of my article was that the U.S. is making a mistake by all this uh, blame on Prashina and Prime Minister Korti, who deserves some blame and does share in the blame, and I write that in the article, but praising, not only letting Vucic escape from his responsibility, which is very high for this situation, and plus we have an immediate crisis, even higher now with the arrest of the three uh, special, Kosovo special police, but praising him. And, and, what, and you ask about the war in Ukraine, I'm saying Putin believes he is winning in the Balkans, not the West. So that, and I describe and I explain in the article and I give examples about why this is so and, and about uh, how the U.S. is not, and the EU, uh, are not addressing the qu Kosovo question strategically. So that's the uh, point of my article. Look, this is now, the situation has even escalated in, in these past 24 hours with the arrests of these three Kosovo Serb police. And I point out, uh, what, uh, as others have done, the Kumanovo Agreement. This is the agreement, you know, between uh, Belgrade and NATO that uh, ended the bombing 20 years of the Kumanovo Agreement, which creates this five kilometer ground safety zone. All, that's on the other side of the border, that's into Serbia. That means that the Serbian police should not have even been within five kilometers. And, and that's a, that is a very strong consideration here and really this matter now is in the hands of the uh, NATO first of all because this is involves the, the NATO agreement with Serbia first of all and and so NATO and K4 have to give a uh, their uh, professional judgment and even if they don't want to share this publicly they have to inform the United States inform other uh, inform the European Union, other key European Union countries, and establish the, this uh, basic uh, facts uh, there. That's number one. Number two is what, what uh, Pristina needs to do and what Prime Minister Kurti and President Osmani need to do. I'm going to use one word. Statesmanship. Statesmanship. This is the word we use in English. It means to rise above the, the level of ordinary politician. It means to attain the level of a, of a great leader at a critical time, because this is a very serious situation. Uh, we don't want any escalation. We've already seen violence break out in a terrible fashion on uh, May 29th in the north with these terrible attacks on K4 and, and on Coastal Special Police uh, by Serbs. These are not protesters, these are criminals uh, using Molotov cocktails and things. We've seen that we don't want and uh, uh, many K-4 soldiers injured. We don't want anyone to be wounded, injured or killed, military or civilian. So it's really a moment I, to, for statesmanship, for very close communication with United States, um, and of course, uh, EU and NATO here, and uh, and really looking for ways to avoid any further escalation. But I, I do repeat, NATO must pronounce an answer about this. I, I don't know. I'm not on the ground uh, there. I don't know. But it, uh, it, it, it does. If you if you look at the terms of the Komanovo Agreement, uh, creating a ground safety zone. Think about the term. I hope this will be translated uh, well into Albanian. Ground safety zone. They were smart in NATO. They were already thinking. We don't want to have any uh, misunderstandings. We don't want to have incidents like this you know, or, or, or this type of an incident where someone strays across the border or uh, shooting, um, uh, uh, you know, any kinds of things like this. 
Uh, you don't, we don't want any of that type, type of error. They were, they were smart when they, when they made this ground safety zone. Now, I, I'm not in a position to, to make a judgment. I'm, I, I'm not with NATO, although at one time I was. I was deployed in Bosnia-Herzegovina with NATO. I was uh, uh, with I-4. Uh, not K-4, but I-4 in uh, 1996. So I've, I was part of a NATO force. Uh, NATO is highly professional. They must, it's on NATO, they must establish as well as they can the facts here and be mindful of the obligations under, under the Kamanovo Agreement. But if you create a five kilometer safety zone, how possible is it that Kosovo police would go five kilometers into, I don't even think even in Belgrade that they claim that, uh, uh, that uh, it was even five kilometers. So uh, it, it's really NATO must pronounce this and Kosovo officials, Prime Minister Kurti, President Osmani must stay in very good contact and show really the statesmanlike quality to get out of escalation. Um, look, the, you know, there's this ban on Serbian goods, there's uh, the ban on uh, certain license plates and things like this. Uh, I understand because this is a very serious situation. I again say what's so important is to be a statesman or in the case of uh, President Osmani, a stateswoman. I've been writing about this as the lead when people weren't really paying attention. I've been pointing out this is autocrat. Uh, and uh, uh, I've been saying this and that this is a mistake. I wrote an article about open Balkans a year ago. Uh, even right here, at just before Press Before Him last year, I wrote about open Balkans, how this is playing into uh, this uh, uh, Serbian nationalist vision that uh, President Vucic uh, addresses. And I should point out here, President Vucic attacked me personally uh, just uh, at the end of t t 2022, just this past December, in, in, in very uh, fierce uh, emotional terms, uh, which shows, of course, that he's not just some cool, calm guy, that he also has this deep um, animus, and so he had this even anger to me personally. So um, I've been writing about this. Th this is a mistake. Uh, the U.S. has gone overboard on this whole approach with, uh, oh, we're going to persuade him and convince him and it's more manipulation. So uh, the U.S. Has to, has to wake up, particularly after these attacks on K-4 soldiers. This is outrageous. I wrote in the article, Molotov cocktails, that requires preparation. If you take the time for preparing, that means Belgrade has very likely to know, Serbian government to know this is going on. And number two, it means you intend to do attacks. You don't intend to come and uh, protest peacefully. And, th and then we come to the last point, which is the, we have the irony where Serbian people are protesting themselves, saying they want democracy. Now, it's a, Kosovo is a separate issue. That's not uh, a separate issue. But they're speaking as Serbian citizens who love their country that they want democracy in their country and that they know and see their president for who he is. They see his autocrat, they, they are saying themselves, climate of violence this is what they're talking about. This is after the mass shootings. And okay, we see north of Kosovo climate of violence. Kosovo has its own responsibility, never to create climate of violence. And so my message to Prime Minister Kurti and President Osmani, because Kosovo is a democratic state with pluralism, is to act and reflect those values, never create a climate of violence, exactly what uh, the Serbian people are saying President Vucic is doing.